Hi everyone and welcome to April's Crafting Addiction. As I promised you, I am going to go ahead and make the pop-up card to show you how I did it. Here's one just showing you the card itself. And the pop-up will be here. And you would put your little whatever, your sentiment or your design. Well, sorry. There it goes. And when you open it up, it's a pop-up. But there's also, excuse me, another way you can do it, and it's by adding a arm, basically. Here's your arm. And you would just adhere this to the top. Above that, and see how it would maneuver. And you just put your sentiment here, your decoration, and you don't want it to be that low because it'll come over the card. So I'll put it up a little bit. Okay. So now it'll be like this, and when they open it, it'll move, and you can put a sentiment here, here, you decorate it however you want. So let's get started. The first thing I did was go ahead and cut a piece of cardstock, the color of your choice, to four and a quarter by five. No, excuse me, four and a quarter by eleven. And you scored it at five and a half, and we're just going to fold it over. And if I had found my bone fold, I would do this better for you. I apologize for that. So I'm just going to use my fingers. And we're going to crease it. Make a nice crease. Open it back up. And we are going to turn it horizontal. You will now use your um, word window punch. This one has retired. They have since come out with the new one. But... All in all, it's still the same window punch. It's just one is gray and it fits better in your, it's like this, but the word window and it fits, you can restore it better and it just has the clasp. Okay? So what I'm going to do is take my cardstock and I'm going to eyeball this by going all the way up and seeing if I'll have to turn it just real quick and centering it and pop. Well, punch, excuse me. Turn it 180 degrees. Eyeball it. And pop. Okay. So now you have two punches here and a middle here which is roughly around one inch. Fold your card over as such. Take this piece and fold it Use your bone folder, which will be easier and makes a nice sharp crease for you. Fold it back over and fold it over. Okay? Open your card up. You're going to pop this forward. And now you have your pop up. Let's see how it moves. Okay. Now, to cover up this part, you're going to want to cut a piece of cardstock measuring roughly, I think, four, four and a quarter by three inches and scoring it at one and a half. I might be wrong, and as you can see, I think I did that and I was a little off, so I have to go back and look at my measurements again. But um, this piece, you would score, decorate it and put it over the top of that. Now you want this piece to match this piece because when you open your card where those holes are you want it to kind of blend in so you don't want to do a different color unless you wanted to do like designer paper that would be pretty but um, if you want everything to match I would advise just using the same color cardstock. And you're only going to want to put adhesive 
what I learned is here and here. You don't want to run adhesive all over this piece, okay? Because it's you will not be able to open the card. It will stick. I learned my lesson on that one. So you're going to put adhesive here and here. Flip your card over and you're going to put adhesive here and here. For your pop-up, which is going to be this piece right here, you can make it as big or as wide as you like, but I did two and three quarter by three and three quarter, and my layer is at two and a half by three and a half, and I just use snail or you can use uh, your dimensionals. And again, the layer, how I did it here with the lever, just makes the card move. If you do not want your card to move and just pop up, just remove, do not put the le um, lever, which is a one by three inch piece of cardstock. You'll put your card on that crease line. And now, when you open it back up, the whole card is just going to pop up like that. Okay? So I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial today on how to make a pop-up card. I want to thank Don for inspiring me to make this card. I'm going to decorate this card up and get it um, all prettied up for you so you can see what I've done. I just basically wanted to show you today how to make the card itself. So I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope I've inspired you. And if so, please go ahead and shoot me an email with a copy of your picture. And I'll post it on my uh, blog for you. And on my Facebook pages. I would love to see your creations. My email is april at aprilscraftingaddiction.com. And I look forward to hearing from you. Until later, have a good day. Bye-bye.